In the modern world, everything changes very quickly. Technologies that are in demand today will become out of date tomorrow. This is why we create new materials and engineering developments which will change the world. Here, in the heart of Moscow, two kilometers away from the Kremlin, near the legendary Gorky Park, the University of Science and Technology, Nast Misis, is located. University of the future. We print components for airplanes and spacecraft on 3D printers, create treatment able to prolong human life, develop a new generation of solar batteries, manufacture artificial muscles and implants for bone replacement, seek for the dark matter, taking part in the CERN experiments, develop a quantum supercomputer, invent stealth materials, design technologies for mining on the moon. Nast Misis is a university with a modern approach to education and world-renowned research schools. Students are our main value. They will change the world and determine the future of our planet. You too can write the history. Learn passionately. Explore enthusiastically. Improve comprehensively. Nast Misis. Think bright. Dear prospective students, we are glad to welcome you at the virtual open house day at the National University of Science and Technology, MISIS. My name is Vasiv Farajev, and I'm directing the International Affairs Office at our university. And um, today you will be able to learn more about the university, its educational environment, admission requirements, research, and academic life itself as well as you will be able to learn more about English medium master's degree programs, pre-university Russian language course, and other educational programs we offer at the NAST MISIS. And I'm pleased to introduce you our rector, Dr. Aleftina Chernikova, rector of NAST MISIS, who will introduce you our university. Ms. Chernikova. Дорогие друзья, Сегодня мы проводим день открытых дверей для иностранных абитуриентов. Благодаря онлайн-формату у всех, кто заинтересован в получении образования в России, вне зависимости от местонахождения, есть возможность узнать о жизни и деятельности одного из ведущих технических вузов России – Университета науки и технологий МИСЕС. День открытых дверей НИТУ МИСИС – это прекрасная возможность получить информацию об особенностях поступления в 2020 году, образовательных программах на русском и английских языках, изучении русского языка как иностранного. НИТУ МИСИС – динамично развивающийся научно-образовательный центр мирового уровня. В нашем университете создана интернациональная творческая среда. Сегодня в нем обучаются молодые люди из всех регионов Российской Федерации и 84 стран мира. В структуре НИТУ МИСИС 10 институтов, 6 филиалов, более 30 научно-исследовательских лабораторий, научно-образовательных и инжиниринговых центров. Новые материалы для всех сфер жизнедеятельности человека от медицины до космоса разрабатывают в Институте новых материалов и нанотехнологий. Системы искусственного интеллекта и технологии обработки больших данных изучают в Институте информационных технологий и авто автоматизированных систем управления. Разработками ресурсосберегающих технологий для всех отраслей и промышленности занимаются в Институте экотехнологий и инжиниринга. Безопасное и экологичное освоение недр и океанов планеты, в том числе при помощи цифровых технологий, амбициозная задача, стоящая перед инженерами Горного института. Управленцев, разбирающихся в макроэкономической теории и новейших технологиях, готовят Институт экономики и управления промышленными предприятиями имени Владимира Андреевича Роменца. Специалистов в области научной коммуникации выпускает Институт базового образования. НИТУ МИСИС 
входит в топ-500 лучших вузов мира по версии глобального рейтинга QS. В этом году мы улучшили свои позиции, заняв 428 место в мире. В таких отраслях, как горное дело, металлургия, университет входит в сотню лучших вузов мира, а по материаловедению Нетумисис занимает позицию 101 ⁇ являясь лидером среди российских университетов. В Нетумисис можно получить качественное фундаментальное образование. Проектно-ориентированный подход и возможность выбора индивидуальной образовательной траектории, начиная со второго курса, позволяют нашим выпускникам быть востребованными на быстро меняющемся глобальном рынке труда. В Нетумисис работают ученые с мировым именем. Результаты их исследований публикуются в авторитетных научных изданиях. У вас будет возможность учиться у лучших. Профессор Акихиса Инуэ – первооткрыватель материалов на основе объемных металлических стекол. Он заведует лабораторией «Перспективные энергоэффективные материалы». Одно из ключевых направлений исследований группы профессора Акихиса Инуэ – разработка материалов для снижения потерь в городских электросетях. Профессор Алексей Устинов – один из наиболее известных экспертов в области сверхпроводящих материалов. При его участии в 2019 году в НИТУМИСИС разработал первый в России прототип квантового компьютера. Профессор Игорь Абрикосов – международный эксперт в области теоретической физики твердого состояния. Моделирование сложнейших физико-химических процессов на суперкомпьютере позволяет научной группе под руководством профессора Абрикосова разрабатывать новые материалы с заданными свойствами. Университет активно готовит новое поколение исследователей. Более 100 молодых ученых сегодня работают в университете. Шесть научных коллективов возглавляют руководители младше 35 лет. С 2012 года мы реализуем модель Digital Missis. Цифровая трансформация университета охватывает все сферы деятельности – образование, науку, управление вузом, инфраструктуры, сервисы. Современные цифровые образовательные технологии – один из основных инструментов реализации индивидуальных образовательных траекторий. Сегодня более 80% образовательного контента представлено в цифровом формате на платформе Canvas. В, уни в университете создан и успешно работает студенческий офис, где обучающиеся могут получать необходимую информацию. С помощью цифровых сервисов студенты в любое время, из любой точки мира могут узнать свое расписание, получить справку, задать интересующие их вопросы. Иностранные абитуриенты могут поступать как на англоязычные, так и на русскоязычные образовательные программы, которые реализуются в НИТУМИСИС. Для этого в университете создано и успешно работает подготовительное отделение, где ведется преподавание русского языка. По окончании обучения выпускники подготовительного отделения овладевают языком на уровне, достаточном для поступления в университет. Обучающиеся в НИТУМИСИС ежегодно становятся победителями и призерами Всероссийских олимпиад по русскому языку для иностранцев. В НИТУМИСИС реализуются англоязычные магистерские программы по ключевым направлениям деятельности университета – материаловедение, квантовые технологии, информационные технологии, солнечная энергетика и многие другие. Преподаватели, ведущие в своей области ученые – российские и зарубежные. Обучение проходит полностью на английском языке. В университете создана настоящая интернациональная образовательная среда. Сегодня 25% численности студентов – это граждане 84 стран мира. По данным глобального рейтинга QS, который вышел в июне 2020 года, наш университет занимает 172 место в мире по количеству иностранных студентов. Одна из задач, стоящих перед НИТУ МИСИС – создать комфортные условия для учебы и отдыха студентов. Кампус Дом Коммуна – памятник архитектуры эпохи конструктивизма в 2019 году стал победителем конкурса общежитий «Мой студенческий дом». 
Высокоскоростной интернет, учебные компьютерные классы, библиотеки, спортзал. Здесь есть все для занятий и активного отдыха. Задача университета не только дать студентам фундаментальное образование, познакомить с миром науки, но и предоставить возможности для самореализации. Для этого мы формируем креативную экосреду, способствующую максимальному раскрытию способностей каждого обучающегося. Студенты не то месяц принимают участие в международных хакатонах, научных конференциях. В университете регулярно проходят лекции ведущих российских и зарубежных ученых, мастер-классы бизнес-партнера вуза, среди которых такие компании, как Huawei, Siemens, Cisco, Macromine и многие другие. Нитумиси стал одним из первых университетов, который провел успешную цифровизацию приемной кампании. В 2019 году 95% численности поступающих воспользовались электронными сервисами для подачи документов. В 2020 году мы организуем приемную кампанию полностью в дистанционном формате. Документы в университет можно подать, не выходя из дома, через личный кабинет на сайте ВУЗа. Мы готовы организовать обучение в новом учебном году полностью в дистанционном формате, если этого потребует эпидемиологическая ситуация. Ждем вас в Нитумисис. Thank you so much for this marvelous presentation, Dr. Черникова. Meanwhile, we're moving on, and the next topic of our agenda today is admission to the university. I would like to start from the admission requirements and the educational conception of our university. NASMIS is offered the full educational cycle from bachelor to PhD degree programs. We also offer the pre-university Russian language course where and when students from other countries uh, who are not speaking Russian but they want to study on Russian language programs can learn the Russian language and or even boost the Russian language command. Now about the admission requirements. To get admitted to the educational programs um, our candidates are required to uh, pass the entrance examinations which depends on the level of study. For undergraduate programs, bachelor or specialist degree, students have to take three exams uh, which one of them is Russian language exam which is obligatory on the undergraduate level. And the uh, other two exams are related with the majors you are applying to. Master programs, applicants will need to take one exam, which is major related as well. And for uh, postgraduate PhD degree candidates, uh, you will have to pass one exam, which is divided into two parts, written exam, and uh, interview. Admission procedures at our university are very different. We have two ways. First one is tuition fee based study and the second one is scholarship based study. Uh, if you are planning to cover the tuition fee by yourself you will have to um, apply directly to TASMISIS for your admission but it's only for tuition fee based study. If you're planning to study on the scholarship basis you will have to um, apply via the special system for collecting applications to study in Russia through the website futureinrussia.com. You can see the link on the screen. If you want to study at NASMISIS, you will need to prepare the documents, choose the university as a, your first priority. You will see that in the system. You will need to complete the, the profile and other procedures uploading your documents into the system. Uh, as you can see, the scholarship-based study is very out of our influence and uh, it's very independent um, analysis of your profile. You can obtain the information uh, uh, at the closest Russian cultural center or Russian embassy. Just uh, write them a letter if you have any questions filling up the form an application on the website futureinrussia.com. Uh, successful candidates will get the admission close to the end of August 
and you will receive the visa from the Ministry of Higher Education and Science of Russia and uh, we will prepare everything for your coming. This system is very diversified because we're a public institution. That's why we cannot accept students on the scholarship basis directly. You can see the scheme of, a, uh, of admission uh, for both two ways, on the tuition fee based study and scholarship on the screen. You can see the contact information about our university and the International Affairs Office of our university. Uh, we will smoothly and rapidly answer your questions if you have them during the admission campaign, which is already started. And I hope to see all of you at our university. Now you will hear important information about the admission from our International Admission Officer, Ms. Miriam Karkmazova, who will inform you about the Pre-University Russian Language Course Program. Dear prospective students, my name is Miriam Korkmazova and I am the International Admissions Officer at NASMESIS. And today I would like to talk to you a little about our Pre-University Russian Language Program. Now this program will be interesting for those who would like to pursue their education in one of our Russian medium programs or for those who would like to get immersed into studying of Russian language and culture. The program lasts for 10 months and ends up with final examination. Upon completion of the program, you will be awarded with a certificate. As for the content of the program, the first semester is dedicated fully to the intensive study of Russian language, whereas the second semester introduces some subject-related classes, so that you have a chance to get better prepared for the admissions exams to come. For this purpose, you will have three orientations – technology and engineering, natural sciences or economics. Those students who get enrolled on the scholarship basis will be automatically assigned to engineering and technology related orientation. In order to apply for the program, you need to make inquiry to the International Affairs Office, prepare the pack of documents and submit the application before the deadline. We will be glad to see you here at NASMESIS. Welcome. Now we're proceeding to the master's programs in English we offer it at our university. And I'm giving the floor to Professor Dr. Sergei Muhin, who will introduce you our master's programs, Quantum Physics for Advanced Materials Engineering. Uh, hello, welcome to everybody, especially welcome to those curious creatures who would like to become quantum engineers, because our master's program at MESIS is called Quantum Physics for Advanced Materials Engineering and it uh, trains masters in physics. So my name is uh, Sergei Muhin. I am head of uh, theoretical physics and quantum technologies department at MESIS. Previously I was a postdoc uh, at Cameron Connors laboratory where superconductivity was discovered. And after that, I was a consultant at Los Alamos National Laboratory in the United States and also uh, work, working now as an uh, invited professor at Lawrence Institute for Theoretical Physics at Leiden University. Uh, our master program, uh, Quantum Physics for Advanced Materials Engineering, uh, contains uh, different kind of courses and uh, in general, it is uh, designed in such a way that uh, our graduates may become either theoreticians or experimentalists. Therefore, we have two sets of courses, basic courses and elective courses. Uh, elective co courses are constructed in such a way that students may choose different trajectories. Those who decide to become experimentalists may choose one trajectory and theoreticians another one. Uh, the basic courses uh, are designed in such a way that our uh, graduates have fundamental knowledge of quantum theory, uh, quantum physics of solids, and they would know what uh, electrons and atoms are doing in the solids, why there are metals, superconductors, semiconductors and insulators, what is the phenomenon of superconductivity? 
uh, which properties uh, could be used for making terahertz lasers, solar cells, quantum computers, quantum communication lines, how the, uh, labo uh, how the testing of vulnerability of quantum encryption lines uh, is working and developing. Also, we have uh, one more um, besides physical uh, applications, we also train students who decide to become biophysicists and therefore our elective courses contain course also in uh, the physics of um, uh, lipid membranes and uh, liquid crystal membranes. Uh, why uh, our program is, uh, wor is working at uh, MISIS? Because at MISIS we have uh, several uh, famous uh, laboratories on uh, Russian uh, and also on international level. Uh, one of those is uh, the laboratory uh, chaired by Professor Ustinov, who uh, also works at Karlsruhe uh, Institute in Germany. And uh, this is lab the laboratory where first superconducting qubit spectrum measurements were conducted in Russia and uh, now uh, at this laboratory uh, new uh, uh, objects uh, which are called uh, superconducting qubits are constructed and tested. Another laboratory which also absorbs our curious students is a laboratory of modeling and design of new materials uh, chaired by Professor Igor Abrikosov who also works at, in Linköping University in Sweden. And uh, this laboratory uh, possesses a supercomputer installed in MISIS and uh, conducts calculations of, uh, of uh, new properties of solids in the extreme external conditions. For example, they managed to explain why Earth has magnetic poles. Uh, we also have a new uh, recently opened uh, laboratory which is called Quantum Hacking, chaired by Professor uh, Vladimir, Vadim Makarov. A laboratory uh, is one of the few laboratories uh, available in the world which uh, tests vulnerability of quantum encryption lines. So uh, students and PhD students and postdocs are, uh, have a fantastic possibility to test even satellite lines to find whether uh, encrypted data could be hacked or not. Finally, to summarize, I would like also to tell you that our theoretical physics and quantum technology department was uh, chaired for 15 years by Nobel Prize winner Alex Abrikosov, who discovered Abrikosov vortices in uh, superconductors in magnetic field. And uh, since that time, we have very rich cluster of uh, research groups occupied with all uh, properties, uh, with uh, all properties of superconducting materials. So I invite the students who are interested in quantum physics and in physics in general, and who would like to become quantum engineers to uh, su submit their applications to our master's program and to have successful way to their career in science and engineering. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation, Professor. The next master, the next master program we're going to talk about uh, is going to be quite interesting for our students who are going to be focused on STEM majors. And the, make, the, the name of the program is Advanced Metallic Materials and Engineering. That program will be touched upon the, prof, the head of the program, Professor Alexei Salonin. Over to you, Professor. Hello, my name is Alexei Salonin and I am head of department uh, of physical metallurgy of non-ferrous metals. I would like to introduce you the master program in the field of advanced metallic materials and engineering. This program provides a unique possibility to perform the new investigations. You will acquire 
experience in the development of new metallic materials with enhanced properties. Also, you will study different technological processes to control the structure and properties of alleys. Our students actively use uh, modern methods of structure investigations, computer analysis of phase diagrams, the measurement of various properties, and uh, the modeling of deformation process and casting. After graduation, you will know the critical dependencies between technological uh, methods, structures, and properties of metallic materials. You will be able to develop new alleys and technologies, perform a critical analysis of the available information about materials and techniques, and publish original uh, papers based on the results of your investigation. If you own basic uh, engineering skills, we will we'll help you to become the real professional uh, during the academic training supervised by our leading scientists. Profound training in all modern scientific and applied issues of metallic materials includes metallic materials, structure, properties, and applications, thermodynamic computation, and analysis of phase diagrams of multi-component systems, modeling and optimization in physical metallurgy, development of metallic materials, thermal and thermomechanical treatment of special steels and alloys. Uh, there are some elective courses, includes uh, diffusion in solids, mechanical spectroscopy of me metallic materials, amorphous metallic alloys, corrosion and protection of metallic materials. The central part of this program is your scientific research. You may become a member of one of our research groups. All of them are very friendly and you will feel comfortable during your study. Here is a list of our general uh, scientific directions. Alloys with enhanced mechanical and physical properties. Additive technologies. Amorphous alloys. Modeling the structure and properties of the alloys. I want to show you some examples of the topics of uh, the investigations that you can perform in our labs. The high strain rate uh, superplastic deformation mechanism in aluminum zinc magnesium alloys. The goal of this investigation is to increase of the rate of superplastic of superplastic forming. Uh, titanium alloys with low temperature superplasticity. The goal to decrease the temperature of superplastic forming. Multidirectional forging effect to microstructure and properties of aluminum based alloys. Aluminum alloy metal matrix composites. Precipitations of uh, quasi crystalline structure phases in aluminum based alloys. Uh, the goal of this investigation is to increase uh, the strength of aluminum alloys. The novel aluminum-based alloys for additive manufacturing. The goal to develop the unique aluminum-based alloys with high strength and heat resistance to create parts of machines operating at elevated temperature. And finally, improving the functional properties of alloys with giant uh, magnetostriction. Welcome to our master program. We need your creativity. We will be glad to work with you in our team. Welcome. Thank you, Professor. And now we're moving forward. NAS Mesisi is famous for its fundamental studies in material science and technology. These fields are major focus for our college for new materials and nanotechnologies. And uh, I'm introducing you the head of the college, Dr. Sergei Kaloshkin, who will present you our three master's programs that the college has to offer. Please, Professor. Dear future students, my name is Sergei Kaloshkin, and I'm a head of the College of New Materials and Nanotechnologies at the NAST-MISIS. 
I would like to welcome you at our Open House Day and present you our three English medium master programs for, we offer. In general, all programs deal with material science. New materials determine the progress of technologies. Today, it is very important to base on reliable theoretical and experimental ground to satisfy the demands of developing technologies in new materials. Deep understanding the famous formula of correspondence between composition, structure and properties will help our graduates to develop their expertise during all life. I would like to start from our program Advanced Material Science. This program is focused on study of new construction materials used in aerospace industry, precise mechanical engineering, medicine, electronics and other fields. The program based on study of fundamental physical principle, structural characterization, modern analytical methods of materials properties measuring, as well as method of their production. The program is designed for students who have a bachelor's degree in solid-state physics, material science, nanomaterials or metallurgy. Second program I would like to introduce to you is the nanotechnology and materials for micro and nanosystems. This two-year master program is devoted to study of micro and nanoscale phenomena, materials and devices, it gives students solid background in three core areas, nanomaterials, fabrication and characterization, physical properties and devices. You will also understand the potential for the technology commercialization and its social impact. The program includes compulsory basic courses along with elective courses focusing on specific materials and devices. Information you can find on our website as well. And the third master program, which I want to present you, called Science and Materials of Solar Energy. It is about current global energy demands that future clean and efficient approach. approach. The two-year program is designed to prepare future engineers who will implement sustainable energy solutions. The program is a balance between theoretical knowledge and practical skills in the field of renewable energy. Students will learn pros and cons of conventional and renewable energy sources, innovative methods, materials and systems used for harvesting the energy of sun. One of the most important features of our programs is studying through research. Every master graduating work is an individual scientific research based on real projects. I hope to see all of you at our prestigious university in the very near future. Thank you. Thank you for this presentation, Professor. Now we are moving on, and the next presentation will be about the next master's degree program, Communications and International Public Relations. The program will be introduced by the head of the program, Dr. Lilia Bondriva. Please, Lily. Hello and welcome to the International Master's Program in Communications and International Public Relations at National University of Science and Technology, MISIS. This is a unique program here at the university. Uh, in fact, this is the flagmanship program in the field of humanities, which is uniquely positioned to take advantage of the vast networks of science and technology specialists that uh, the University of Mises combines and concentrates. The program has three major advantages. In fact, these are unique uh, principles that we built our program on. Number one, we train specialists in strategic communications in the field of science and technology. Indeed, science and technology is now covered a lot in the, in the fields of media um, and through other channels. But what we train our specialists to do is to take 
into account the interests of various stakeholders in order to bring to fruition complex technological projects. The second advantage is the fact that we have a substantially uh, elaborated track uh, based on practical projects of the students. Apart from the academic track where students do lectures and seminars, students every semester are engaged to conduct a project which build their portfolio in order to be better employed by the time of graduation. And finally, this is the diversity of talent that we invite to our program. This is the diversity of backgrounds because you don't have to be uh, uh, a specialist in communications or be trained in communications to join the program. You can have a technical background to be here. The diversity of nationalities. People from more than 20 countries have been students in our program and the diversity of skill set. If you're interested to take a new age in your career, please join our program on communications and international public relations here at National University of Science and Technology, MISIS. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. The next program we're going to talk about is related to linguistics major as well. And uh, the name of the program is Second Language Teaching and uh, uh, Pedagogical Design in Digital Environment. And I would like to give a word to the academic supervisor of the program, Dr. Ekaterina Shavilova. Please, doctor. Hello, my name is Ekaterina Shavilova and I'm the academic coordinator of the master's program, Second Language Teaching and Pedagogical Design in Digital Environments. In the era of digitalization and thriving manifold educational courses, our program helps those who would like to tailor solid online courses based on language teaching and acquisition. Our program is aimed at training experts uh, who will create and implement innovative educational products to meet the expectations of generations Z, Alpha and others to come. Our program graduates will combine language teaching, uh, English and Russian using intelligent technologies, course design and program administration. Uh, our students exercise a language teaching, course design and graphic design so that they will become unique professionals demanded by the contemporary educational market. That allows them to be discerning not only in the manner the languages should be taught appropriately, but also the techniques appealing uh, to the respective target audience. If one has a desire to apply for our master's program, the only requirements are a good mastery of the English language and a passing online uh, examination. One should demonstrate uh, good knowledge of uh, intercultural communication and uh, critical thinking. Our core disciplines are those which provide background for language teaching. Among them are learning theory and language acquisition, assessment design, graphic design and media production, and others. The standout feature of the program is that students can opt for the language they are going to teach in their courses. Thus far they have a choice between Russian and English. Among their electives, uh, students can opt for uh, such subjects like uh, gamification or learner-centered environments and others. Starting from their first term, students uh, work on their research project. They select their target audience, they uh, will potentially work with, uh, identify their billing techniques. Uh, thereafter, they structure a course and create its digital framework. Our students participate in real-life projects that sell readily. All our supervisors are international level experts in course design and educational digitalization. We cooperate with uh, leading language institutions which specialize in online language teaching. So, 
if you want to change the future of our education for the better, you're welcome. Thank you, Dr. Chavaliva. The next topic we're going to talk about on the master's degree level on English medium programs, it's about the IT and computer science majors. And I would like to give a word to chief lecturer, Mr. Ivan Zorin, who will introduce you our two master's programs in English related to these majors on IT and computer science. Please, Ivan. Dear prospective students, uh, my name is Ivan Zorin, and I'd like to uh, present you two uh, master programs in IT uh, in English language. Uh, this program is an uh, innovative system, innovative software system, uh, design, development and applications. Uh, this is very um, complex and uh, very interesting program about um, how to develop, design and create uh, software, a modern software for, uh, for any case, for any uh, variant of using. Uh, the first, uh, I'd like to describe what we have to uh, know if we want to start uh, this program, if we want to admit to this program. Uh, we need to know some, uh, something about programming, something about databases, uh, something about um, mathematics, uh, and we need, to, uh, we need to love it. We need to love maths, we need to love uh, computer and computer science. Uh, you should be Bachelor of uh, Computer Science, and, uh, or maybe uh, Electric Science or something, uh, something like that. Uh, this program is led uh, by very qualified uh, engineers uh, or uh, professors and uh, uh, you have a uh, master uh, degree after that and uh, you have a lot of knowledges after that. These knowledges are about computer-aided design uh, software systems and about uh, web systems, uh, SAS systems. Uh, these knowledges uh, are about artificial net neural network, uh, some, some knowledge is about uh, databases and data stores, but uh, this is not the main purpose of this program. Uh, the main purpose is software development uh, and uh, artificial intelligence. So uh, you need to understand that you will uh, write a lot, a lot of code and uh, you will do a lot of practice exercises uh, in coding and uh, in software development. Uh, we have some partners which help us to create this program and uh, to make it very effective uh, for you. These are Micromine uh, ISD Information System Design, it's a Russia software development company, uh, Autodesk which give us some software for teaching uh, Alrosa, uh, it is a main Russian uh, game uh, company, uh, game producing company, uh, and Escon. Uh, well, uh, in uh, during uh, the educational process, uh, you may meet some uh, practice exercises, and you would have uh, the best, uh, or maybe not the best, but. Uh, very good conditions for doing it. Um, we have modern uh, computer lab, we have uh, modern multimedia uh, halls, we have a lot of e-learning and uh, some distance learning resources. We, uh, you would have uh, unlimited access to dig digital library. So, uh, these kind of technologies uh, will help you to uh, learn, will help you to study uh, your non your knowledges and uh, you give you would get a lot of information, a lot of knowledges uh, for your life. So this program is very good uh, for those of you who want to um, get a lot of uh, knowledges about programming and software development. The next program would be data science. Uh, data science is the other kind of software de development. Uh, it is about how to store and uh, process the data. Uh, the lead of this program and the previous one too is a uh, Professor Gorbatov. Uh, he is a very, very good uh, sciencer in uh, computer mathematics, and uh, this kind of program is about maths too. Uh, 
the requirements for this is the same uh, are, are the same uh, with the previous one program uh, you need to be a bachelor or equivalent uh, in computer sciences you need to have b2 level of english and uh, you have to be to pass uh, online examination uh, with mi minimum uh, 40 points uh, the next uh, you need to uh, know some uh, you need to have some knowledge in machine learning uh, you need to have some knowledge in data science but uh, of course we will uh, we will teach you uh, all of others if you if you don't have some then we teach you uh, but you need to ha have some basic knowledge about this uh, for example what is database what is table what is uh, you know SQL, uh, SQL queries etc uh, we would study uh, data science and big data uh, in this program uh, we uh, you may get knowledge about artificial intelligence about uh, maths uh, especially discrete maths uh, some uh, modern IT systems in economics, etc. Uh, we have partners for this uh, for this program. Uh, it is Skolkova Institute of uh, Technology. It's famous Russian institute. Uh, Peter the Great Saint Petersburg uh, Polytechnic University, the second very famous uh, university in Russia. Uh, ASD Software Development Company uh, and Salado AI. Uh, it is a AI company too. Uh, during the educational pro uh, process, uh, you have access to all of those, uh, all of previous uh, resources like uh, modern labs, uh, like digital uh, library, like uh, air learning and distance learning technologies, which we use. And of course, uh, you have a lot of uh, contacts with um, uh, professors, which uh, give you a lot of knowledge about data science. Uh, in both uh, programs, you have to do some projects. In previous program in software uh, development, you have uh, to, you have to do some uh, software development uh, project, uh, some application, maybe web service, etc. In data science, you need to create something like, um, you know, database, uh, maybe uh, database with big data and uh, with using of some data science uh, methods. Uh, you need to um, learn artificial intelligence, etc. So these are two kinds uh, of software development and data processing. Uh, in the first program, you have uh, to write some business logic. And in the second uh, program, uh, your task, your purpose would be to uh, use some kind of data processing. Uh, the purpose is data processing system. And uh, I'd, uh, I would be very glad if uh, you would be my uh, students. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ivan, for the thorough and informative presentation about the master's programs on IT and computer science level. Finally, we have a, sh a time for a short questions and answers session. And uh, I will be delightful to begin with the questions you sent us via email for the last hour. So for the first question, I'm going to respond and clarify information is the following. Will I be able to obtain visa and arrive to Russia in the current pandemic situation? The overseas traveling visas and migration procedures in the current situation are a bit out of our influence and uh, regulated by the federal level authorities. As soon as the traveling restrictions are lifted, we will immediately inform you and uh, we will be glad to assist you with the uh, invitation and visa. In the case of adverse epidemic situation worldwide, Anasmesis will provide the first year students with the opportunity to switch the online learning format. If they are not able to arrive to Moscow to start studies in the coming academic year, we will be able to conduct the online learning environment through the digital opportunities. The well-developed infrastructure 
enables to our university to provide the educational content in full through the remote access. The next question is, uh, do I need to arrive to Russia to submit application and pass the admission exam? In compliance with the order of the Ministry of Science and Higher Education of the Russian Federation, admission campaign 2020 uh, will be held online for all educational levels. Applicants are expected to fill out applications, submit documents, and participate in admission examination rem remotely with the use of digital technologies. You can con contact the International Affairs Office of NASMISIS to require the guidance and assistance. We will be happy and glad to help you through all the stages of your admission to our university. The next question. How get to prepare for the admi admission exams? The examination content for all levels and majors are available on the website. You will be able to find the topics that you need to have mastery of, as well as recommended sources to get prepared. If you, do ha if you have any other questions about the admission and the content of the exams, we will be happy, happy and helpful to track them down. Do I need to verify my English language for English medium master's programs? As for the language proficiency, you are not required to submit your English proficiency certificate. Your language level will be assessed during the entrance examination, along with the knowledge of the discipline, of the major you're applying to. Um, the next question. Do all international students get the accommodation? All international students are provided with the housing at the students' residence hall facilities, uh, Dom Kamuna and Metallurg and Garniak. All our dorms are the leading dorms in Russia, and we are in top five residence hall facility in Russia in CIS countries. And of course, all internationals are obligatory to have the dorm space in accordance with the Russian government law. The next question came right now. What are the admission exams dates and application deadlines? Well, the application deadline for scholarship basis is defined by each Russian cultural and science center in the country or the region. So you need to contact with the Russian embassy or with the Russian center of science and culture in your country or in the country neighborhood and uh, request the dates about the admission exams. As far as I'm concerned about the tuition fee based study students, uh, all students on this uh, level of payment will be able to see the calendar with all important dates as well as examination schedule on our website. Application deadline will, with all the documents is August the 4th for undergraduate programs, August the 10th for master's programs and PhD programs. If you have any other, if you have any other detailed questions, please feel free to request them by email or phone on the website. And we will be happy to help you to bring the light to your questions. Um, the next question appeared right now. Do you have any stipends or funding programs? International students who are getting enrolled uh, by the governmental scholarship program are eligible for the same stipends as Russian students. Russian students and international students are equal in the Russian Federation. <laughs> that means that all internationals came with the scholarship basis are eligible to receive approximately 1,600 rubles per month for the first semester. If uh, the following examination session um, is successfully passed by a student, uh, you will be uh, with the scores like good. In Russia, there is a five, five score system. It's excellent, good, satisfactory, and unsatisfactory. If you complete your examination session after the first semester successfully, only with the good scores, 
you are eligible to receive 1,600 rubles per month in the second semester. If you, if you finish your first semester with good and excellent scores, you are eligible to get your stipend doubled. It means that you will be able to receive 3,200 3, rubles per month. If you are academically excellent student, it means that you have only excellent scores, your stipend will be tripled. It means that you will be able to receive 1,600 rubles tripled per month. Uh -huh. How can I pay for tuition? You can pay the tuition fee as soon as the education contract is concluded by both sides, you and our university, and you are assigned your and you will be able to receive your individual contract number. The payment is available uh, either via international banking transaction based on the bill or via pay.mrs.ru with the Visa or MasterCard system. And uh, the last question about the job opportunities. Um, oh, my pardon, I have two questions. What about jobs after completion of master's degree for international students? NASMISIS has the Career Service Center at the campus, and they will be happy to help you on the last two semesters of your program to find the potential job for your internship during the last semester of your program and proceed with your further employment after the graduation. The average period of uh, seeking the job after the graduation is six months after the graduation. And the Career Service Center will help you with uh, all the stages after the graduation to fill out the CV, to prepare the motivation letter and cover letter and help you to find the job as well in general. Um, our university about the psychological counselor center. Uh, the next question is about the counseling center. Uh, we have the counseling center at our campus. If students have stress, it's a stressful situation, even the internationals who are not speaking the Russian language on, on the basis level are eligible to get the consultancy and the advice at our counseling center. Uh, it works daily from uh, the morning from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. And uh, the hotline is available every day, even with the weekend and holidays. And I assume it's a, the last question. Thank you very much, dear friends. Thank you very much, prospective students. Uh, we will be happy to see you all at the NASMISIS and uh, see you soon, dear friends. Thank you. In the modern world, everything changes very quickly. Technologies that are in demand today will become out of date tomorrow. This is why we create new materials and engineering developments which will change the world. Here, in the heart of Moscow, two kilometers away from the Kremlin, near the legendary Gorky Park, the University of Science and Technology, Nast Misis, is located. University of the future. We print components for airplanes and spacecraft on 3D printers, create treatment, able to prolong human life, develop a new generation of solar batteries, manufacture artificial muscles and implants for bone replacement, seek for the dark matter, taking part in the CERN experiments, develop a quantum supercomputer, invent stealth materials, design technologies for mining on the moon. Nast Misis is a university with a modern approach to education and world-renowned research schools. Students are our main value. They will change the world and determine the future of our planet.
You too can write the history. Learn passionately. Explore enthusiastically. Improve comprehensively. Nast misses. Think bright. <laughs>